How to completely erase digital footprint on PC. To begin, let's explore how to locate your digital footprint. The first thing you can do is Google yourself. Search your name on Google. To narrow the results, add your city or job with a plus sign. For example, John Smith plus Columbus, Ohio. Another thing you can do is use Google's personal info tool. Open your browser and go to myactivity.google.com slash results dash about dash you. Hit enter. Now, click on get started. Type your name. Then click continue. Enter your home address. Below type your phone number. And at the end email. Click continue and review the details. You can turn on alerts to get notified if your info appears online. Check the box to confirm. Then click save. Now wait, it may take a few hours. You'll get an email with the results on your linked Google account. You can also ask data brokers. Data brokers collect and sell your personal info. Visit popular broker sites like Spokio, Whitepages, or Been Verified. You can request them to show or delete your data. You can also check the dark web for your leaked data. Your personal data may have been leaked or exposed in data breaches. You can use free online tools to check if your email is part of any known leaks. Just enter your email address. If it's compromised, update your passwords immediately. Now, let's talk about how to delete your digital footprint in 14 ways. Step 1. Be careful on public Wi-Fi. Avoid using free Wi-Fi for sensitive tasks. These networks can track your activity. Use a VPN to hide your online actions and protect your data. Step 2. Delete or deactivate unused accounts. Make a list of all your old online accounts, like emails, shopping sites, or social media. Go to the settings and look for the delete or deactivate option. If you don't use it, remove it. Less data online means less to be exposed. Step 3. Remove personal info from websites. Some big websites have experienced data breaches, but only a few users have reclaimed their data. To protect your privacy, request the removal of personal info from websites. You can do this by filling out a removal form or emailing the site's support team with the details you want taken down. Step 4. Delete old social media posts. Old posts can expose personal info you forgot about. Go through your profiles and delete anything you no longer want public. Some platforms, like Facebook, even offer a bulk delete option to save time. Step 5. Opt out of data collection. Go to your most used apps and websites, and check their privacy settings. Turn off ad tracking, location access, and data sharing. This helps reduce how much data is collected about you, and stops creepy ads. Step 6. Use privacy tools. Use browser plugins or privacy software to block tracking. Install tools like ad blockers, anti-tracking extensions, or a VPN. These help protect your activity and reduce how much data websites collect. Step 7. Regularly clear your browser history. Clear your history, cache, and cookies daily to erase traces of your activity. This keeps others from seeing what you've browsed and stops websites from tracking you. Step 8. Set up Google Alerts. Create a Google alert for your name to track where it appears online. You'll get notified if new info about you shows up. If anything sensitive appears, act fast to remove it and protect your privacy. Step 9. Review and adjust privacy settings. Check your privacy settings on all online accounts regularly. Limit who can see your posts. Profile info, 
or activity. Keep it tight. The less you share, the safer you are. Step 10. Don't overshare on social media. Sharing too much online can backfire and harm your image. Archive or delete old posts that could be risky. Think before you post. It's key to keeping your digital footprint clean. Step 11. Use unique passwords for every account. Never reuse passwords. If one gets hacked, all your accounts are at risk. Use strong, different passwords for every service. Avoid logging in with Google or Facebook everywhere. It links your data. Step 12. Ask Google to remove search results. Found something about you on Google that shouldn't be there. Use Google's personal data removal form to request removal. Just enter the URL, describe the info, and submit your request. It's your right to control what shows up about you online. Step 13. Educate yourself to delete digital footprint. Stay updated on digital privacy tips and tools. Regularly review your privacy settings and learn how to erase data effectively. Knowledge is power. The more you know, the better you protect your digital footprint. Step 14. Understand Google's data collection. Google tracks your activity to personalize your experience, but not all data disappears when you delete history. To reduce your footprint, check your Google privacy settings. Use myactivity.google.com to manage or delete records. Browse in incognito mode. Consider privacy tools like VPNs for added protection. If you want to delete your digital footprint from your local device, you can use software like SysTools Data Wipe. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. This is the interface of the SysTools Data Wipe software. On the right side, click the File and Folder button to permanently delete files. You can also use the Pen Drive option to erase files from a USB drive, or choose the Drives option to wipe data from hard drives or SSDs. For this video, we'll go with the File and Folder option. Now, click on Select Folder option. Choose the folder you want to permanently delete. Once selected, click the Select Folder button. You'll now see the folder name along with its path. Below that, there's an option called Wipe Subfolder. Keep it enabled. Then, click Next to continue. Now, it's time to choose a data wipe method. Methods with fewer passes are faster, but less secure. The ones with more passes offer better security but take longer. So, choose a method based on how sensitive your files are. For this video, we'll go with the standard method, USDOD3 pass. You can pick any method that suits your needs. Once selected, click the wipe button. A message will appear saying the files will be permanently deleted. Click yes to confirm and continue. And that's it. That's how you can completely erase digital footprint on PC.